We've heard the rumblings. Now we've learned the state is poised to roll out a vaccine passport to get into gyms, bars, and restaurants. And the governor says he'd like to have it up and running by Labor Day. Manolo Morales has our story. Businesses would not be required to implement the vaccine passport. Some say it would actually be a lot simpler if the state just mandated it. Other cities like New York and San Francisco have already started requiring vaccine passports, but there it's mandatory. So while there has been some backlash, most of it is not toward the businesses themselves. Hawaii business owners find themselves in a tough spot having to make the choice. It's a complicated decision, right? And so uh, as a business owner, we have to take so many factors into consideration. Um, if the state mandates, it, then it takes that decision out of our hands. The state calls it a digital smart health card and says it would work the same way as the Safe Travels vaccine exception, where people would have to upload a copy of the vaccination card to a secure website. Weibel says gyms like the YMCA already have a similar system in place, so the transition would be easy. We would make it pretty simple. You show, especially if you're vaccinated one time, uh, we'd mark you as a vaccinated person, so you don't have to continue to show the pass. Weibel adds that those who are not vaccinated will have to show proof of a negative COVID test. But many other businesses have concerns about how it's supposed to work. Liability issue, how to enforce this, uh, and how uh, employers and employees will have to manage this because they are the ones that will have to check the passport. Menor McNamara says businesses will need more guidance from the state before they consider implementing it. The state says it's still in the early stages of developing it and sent a statement saying details of the smart health card will continuously evolve until the project is released for public use. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.